Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake. This time I'm going to show you the best grinding spot in the game. This is the best for experience, AP, SP up to level 50, and more. Before I explain the full breakdown of how to do this, you need to understand that this is only viable after you beat the game. The reason for that is because when you beat the game, you get double the experience gains and triple the AP gains. So doing this before then is kind of a moot point and not even worth it. This grinding method requires several pieces of materia that you can pick up through the game and mastering one of them, although it's a lot easier than it sounds. So without further ado, let's get started. The first piece of materia you need for this is the pedometer materia. This materia appears in Aerith's house, or just outside of Aerith's house, in chapter 14. So if you miss this materia, once you beat the game, restart chapter 14, and then just outside of her house, you'll find it. The pedometer materia is a very special piece of materia in that it has no purpose until you max out the steps. So you need to walk 5,000 steps, which really should not be that hard if you just leave it equipped after you get it. You'll probably max it out before you finish the game. I didn't, so I just went back to chapter 1 and walked around the Mako reactor until it maxed out. Once you reach 5,000 steps with the pedometer materia, it will change into a blue support materia called AP Up. Equipping AP up and linking it with another piece of materia in a linked materia slot will cause that other materia to gain 100% more AP than it normally would. So if you combine this with the triple AP gains you automatically get by default once you beat the game and go back into a repeat chapter, you are going to be gaining a ton of AP without even trying. So that's the first part. The next part is the EXP up materia. In order to get this materia, you need to go back to Chapter 17, Deliverance from Chaos, fight the unknown entities. It's one battle, very quick. They're weak to ice magic, in case you forgot. And in the next room, you will notice that Chadley is now available. He would not have been there your first time through, but now that you're on Chapter Select mode, he's there. He has brought with him an updated combat simulator. From here, you need to select the mission, Three Person Team versus Team Ragbag. This is a five round encounter, starting with an Abzu Shoat, then moving on to Trebopolis plus two Varadpolis, then it moves on to a Hellhound plus two Bloodhounds, then Smogger plus two Ringmaw, and finally a Sweep Prototype plus a Blast Ray. Completing all five of these rounds without failing will award you the EXP Up Materia. The EXP Up Materia only needs to be equipped by one party member, and the 100% XP bonus will be experienced by every single character in the game. So where we are about to grind, you will not have access to Aerith, but she will still gain access to all the bonuses that we have just obtained. So don't worry about not being able to level her up. She will get all the same bonuses as everybody else. You may just have to grind a little bit longer to get her to level 50. The final piece of materia that we need, which is optional, although it will make things go a whole lot faster, is the Magnify Materia. In Chapter 9, when you're going through the Collapsed Expressway, you'll get to a puzzle with two mechanical arms. Using these arms, you want to place a box near the blue materia that you can see in the distance, and then drop Aerith off on that box. Once she's off, she will automatically walk over to that blue materia and pick it up. This is the Magnify Materia. The Magnify Materia is the remakes version of the original game's All Materia. By linking this materia with a Spell Materia, including Healing Materia, you can cast an AoE version of a spell. So if you link this with a Fire Spell, any enemies in the area of the cast will also take damage and it will bounce from enemy to enemy. The same can be done with shielding spells and healing spells. So having this material will make things go a whole lot faster. With that shopping list out of the way, we then need to go to Chapter 16, The Belly of the Beast, and we are going to grind in the Shinra Tower parking garage. With Cloud, we want to equip the Magnify Materia, link it with Fire, and then you want to use AP up if you need to grind, say, the Revive Materia. That's the biggest one you got to grind. And you want to also equip First Strike, MP Up, and Magic Up. This will increase the performance of all of your fire spells, and that is what we're going to primarily use. So once you get into the parking garage, you want to just cast Fira on the first set of enemies. It will one-shot them very quickly. And then the next set of enemies, you're going to do the same exact thing, just cast Fira. And you can see right there from that first pack, we've got 22,000 experience. So that's how it's going to go from here on out. So with the second pack, you just want to deal with the last couple guys. You can cast Fira again, but it might just be quicker to slash them. Move into this section, open the gate, and then cast Fira again. You want to use Fira because it's really going to just destroy everything until you get to the third class soldier recruits. For those guys, you want to cast Firaga, although I have had them die to Fira in the past. So for these guys, 
you want to wait for your ATB to come up, cast Fira again, and it's going to deal most of their health and damage. And then just a couple slashes, they'll go down. Same for this guy. Then we're going to move on through the next gate. All right. So those guys gave 2,100 experience each, as well as 18 AP each. So this is a really, really great way to grind and a pretty easy setup. In this room, we're going to have two packs. There's going to be two Hellhounds in each, uh, or it's a guard dog, sorry, they're called Hellhounds in the original. Two guard dogs in each pack, along with an elite security officer. Let's go ahead and stagger the guard dog. And then the next pack will aggro once you get about halfway through the room. Cast Fira again, it'll destroy everything in the room. It'll keep bouncing around. And the more you level up Magnify, the bigger the range. So just keep that in mind. All right, so moving on, we're gonna get to the last set of packs. Go under this garage door here, and then down the stairs. And it's gonna look like there's one pack of just uh, riot shield enemies. But once you down all three of these guys, uh, some soldier recruits will show up as well. So we're gonna cast Firaga, although Fira will do the trick just fine. We're gonna kill those three guys, and then we have a guard dog to kill. And you can see the soldier recruits coming out of the corner right there. Cloud is leveled up again, 30,000 experience, no big deal. Cast Firaga on the soldier recruits, and then that'll take them down, or at least very close to death. Chop him up, and there's this lone guy over here, so we're gonna take care of him. Once you're finished with all the packs, you want to press options, go into the menu, go to system, and then go back to chapter select and reselect chapter 16. And then just do this over and over and over until all of your characters are level 50. This should take you less than 30 minutes. The grind is seriously amazing, and you can max out virtually any materia really, really quickly. I started this grind at level 37, and before I knew it, I was level 50 in under 30 minutes, no joke. The other really cool thing here is that I accidentally mastered a fire materia from zero AP points starting in this grind. So if you have other materia that you just wanted to master uh, to equip on other people later on, go for it. This is the best way to do it. And it's a really easy setup with a really quick pre-grind with the pedometer materia. That's the only materia that you have to grind before doing this grind. And even then, chances are if you just left that equipped, you have it mastered anyway. If you don't equip it and run back and forth between sector six and sector five, and you'll max it out in no time. So that's it. That's the best way to grind in Final Fantasy VII Remake after you beat the game. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. You can also join my new community Discord. The link for that is in the video description below. If you're looking for more guides for Final Fantasy VII Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Security is looking pretty tight. Huh. So they know what they're up against.